Hello my friends, my name is Steve Maneeb with Steve Maneeb Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat and share my knowledge on anything boating. It's the weekend so let's do a reaction video on the SLX 400 Outboard by Sea Ray. It's this boat behind me here. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it. They were one of the first to really um, do that side platform and make it pretty popular. Um, Scout did it for a little bit. Um, years ago and people were like wow um, others did it before they just weren't in the mainstream so much so um, yeah specifically I want to get into the SLX R 400 E outboard that was at the Miami boat show so I picked two videos to go through it look at that it's it's really nice um, I picked two videos that um, that we'll go through and do a reaction and we'll try to keep this under 15 minutes. T-Ray SLX R400E. This is the boat that wowed them at the CES show. Some of it is obvious, like we have triple 450Rs here, racing engines, obviously an easy boarding platform, but the real secret is something that Rich is going to tell us about. Show us, Rich. You're right. The really cool thing about this boat is what you don't hear right now. So with this boat, normally a boat this size to power all of your electronics, you're running a generator set to make sure that you're running your air conditioner, you're charging Correct. your batteries, you're running your microwaves and your refrigerators. Well, By the way, if you go on their site, um, the four, so the, the SLXR package, let me show you is a like an upgrade so it's this it's the x s l x r and it gives you you see behind me the 450 racing engine so it's like a, it's like a cool addition um and it gives you cutting edge technology paired with high performance propulsion and the orchestrated excellence of the x s l x 400 powerful racing engines combined with elevated design elements will turn heads every time you are on the water um, so 450 Mercury racing engines are the top of the line right now. You can't really get more than that unless you're going to like seven marine engines. Um, so those outboards are boom. Um, so let's go. Oops. Let's go back. Done on this boat is we've replaced that one has the generator the with the Fathom E power management system that takes the gen set out and replaces it with four lithium ion marinized batteries. We're running. So you hear, you heard him. You heard what he said. So the E after 400 E looks like they are trying to be clean and uh, electric. But basically, instead of powering your boat with a generator, um, they're powering it with basically big batteries. Um, and he's going to talk about more about it refrigerators right now and it's completely quiet we can sit here and have a conversation without the buzz and the churn of that generator we're also not burning or the smell and the fumes which is awesome a lot of people will appreciate that especially people with kids or old people well, while we're sitting here either that's fantastic you know what let's take a look under the hood sort of absolutely so what you'll see down in the builds is we've replaced the gen set with four lithium ion marinized batteries. That's Masterbolt, which is also a Brunswick company. Uh, and so you're going to see this in the future. Think about like the way boats are built. Um, they have to like consider center of gravity and where where are we going to where are we going to put certain things so that it's not too bow high or not too um, uh, bow uh, low. <laughs> You know, uh, did I say that bow? It's either bow high or it's bow low. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so you have to do that. And with battery, <laughs> I, I, I digress. And with batteries, um, you it's going to be pretty interesting in the future because batteries, just like in a Tesla, they sit, they can sit low. So. I'm imagining when people start building boats based on batteries instead of just kind of trying to find a spot for them, it's going to be a nicer, smoother ride. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that 
uh, comes to be in the next couple of years. So let's just listen to what he's saying about the batteries. That does it, that's gonna eliminate all of the noise, vibration, and harshness. So even with the engine hatch up, you can't hear anything down here. We've even spooled up the Seakeeper 3 generator as we're sitting here running. Okay, so you got the Seakeeper there in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, now, how many amp hours is that? That's master bolt batteries, right? Yep, master bolt batteries. You're gonna be able to run everything on this boat for about six hours without having to recharge. Wow, that's fantastic. Once you recharge, you can either recharge off of the alternators of the 450 race engines or off of shore power. Okay, well that means six hours, that's a day on the water. It is, and we've got a great user interface that I'll show you at the helm that makes it really easy for the customer to know exactly how much time they still have left. Okay. So did he say that it's replacing the generator or... There's no generator on this boat, right? Yeah. So he's, you're only getting six hours. That's good. That's okay. And he said the alternator I'm sorry, I gotta go back. Did he say the alternator? And we've got a great user interface that I'll show you at the helm that makes it really easy for the customer to know exactly how much time they still have left. Okay, let's take a look at it. Uh, let me go back more. Without having to recharge. Wow, that's fantastic. Once you master bolt batteries, you're gonna be able to run everything on this boat for about six hours without having to recharge. Wow, that's fantastic. Once you recharge, you can either recharge off of the alternators of the 450 ah, race engines. Or the alternator. Off the so while you're driving your boat and the engines are on, the alternators in the engines are charging the batteries very similar to how the normal 12 volt batteries are getting charged on your boat now that's how these are getting charged but it might take a while who knows we'll see okay well that means six hours that's a day on the water it is and we've got a great user interface that i'll show you at the helm that makes it really easy for the customer to know six exactly hours how much time full full left. load okay, let's take a look at it i like I like okay, the layout. Guys, tell us what we're looking at here. So here at the helm is we've integrated all these great electronic features into a very simple user interface. So as we're standing here now, you can see we've got our lights on. We're running two refrigerators. We're running our sea keeper. We're running a third refrigerator down below, and it's all completely quiet. So we've created this great user interface that right now it tells me I'm hooked to the shore power now. But you can see I've got this great green bar that tells me how much electric I have left. As this slowly works down through the day. Once we hit about 20%, this is going to turn yellow, gives me a Sim great red. visual indicator. Once we hit 5%, it's going to turn to red. So that's going to tell me right now exactly where I'm at with how much charge that I still have. Simrad, huh? Hmm. Why not Raymarine? Don't they have a deal with... They had, they had a big deal with Raymarine for a long time. Hmm. My batteries. Right, okay. So tell us some of the other components here that you can control right from here? Just about everything on this boat. I can turn all the lights on, I can turn all the lights off, um, I can control the stereo, I've got charts, I've got radar, I've got my engine data. Anything that you want to control on this boat can be done right here with the twin 16 inch screens from Simrad. Complete user interface, I pull in all of my engine data from Mercury right into this screen as well. Dual 4G radar, chart plotter, you name it, it's all right here, complete with digital switching on just about every function of the boat. That's interesting you say that because although it is digital switching, it looks like you have some backup here in the carbon fiber board. We do. In, in the event that you have something go wrong with the electric screens, one, they're redundant screens, so I can control all of the functions from either screen, but also all of my critical functions can be controlled here with manual switches as well. So in the event you do have something catastrophic from an electrical perspective, I can still raise my anchor, make sure my build pump's running, start my engine, and get back to port. Right. Okay. So critical systems do have a backup. Now, some of the aesthetics on here are pretty cool, really neat accent lighting, and I see you have a sunroof. We do. So you can simply open that up so on a great day where you want the sun in, retract it. One, if you're uh, wanting to get it. I have no problem with that being manual. Really, I have no problem. I like more manual stuff. Like if they can make, if, if boating companies can make more manual stuff, I think people would appreciate it. They just need to make it easy and the hardware that controls the manual stuff needs to be nice and rigid and, and awesome and the highest stainless steel grade. Um, and I think boaters would like it. Out of the sun, get a little shade, you can pull it forward. We've also got an electric shade on the it rear. It also saves that you goes all the way back some cost. Our sun pad as well. Ooh. Oh, I said, <laughs> we saw this last week and I loved the, uh, the stitching and I liked it again. <laughs> it caught my eye. It's really nice. So, this is the 
this is a 40 foot book. So that table goes down into a bed and where is it? See here? Oh, it's behind me. So that'll turn and fill in as a bed. Is there like any good pictures of it? Is there any pictures of it? No. Why don't they give more pictures on the C-Ray website? That's very... You would think that they give more. Huh. Anyways, okay, let's move it along. Let's try to keep this. We're at 10 minutes. We still got another video. But it sleeps for. It holds 22. Look at the front. It's nice, right? I like it. It's a little tight up there, but it's okay. There's so much to do on this boat. Um, you know, the competitors better, better step their game up. They put a lot, a lot of thought into this. I could tell. A lot of R and D. And seven of them can be up here in this fantastic bow. So you know, it's pretty roomy. It's very roomy. This is Susanna Prokoska. If you want to learn more about the Sea Ray, go to boats.com. I would have liked for the spotlight to be placed on top of the hard top. Why can't you do that? That thing's gonna get like uh, taken out. Okay, perfect. Let's look at the other one that I found, and it was pretty good. Now this new boat is a spin-off from their award-winning SLX 400. Congratulations. Drive, a new design that expresses the versatility and a good social boat that you can enjoy with your family and friends. Now starting from the back, you can see why the SLX 400, they call it the entertainer. Now one of the main features on the SLX is the amount of space that you have for water toys. I like this because he's going in different directions here. He's showing us the space, which that is awesome. Just about anything. Yes. Now port side on the transom, we have a pull out shower. Hot and cold water. On the R series for power, as you can see, we got three of the latest from Mercury. They're the 450 R's and there's three of them. Now apart from all the carpet that's on the How fast is that going? Lots of storage. Storage under here. I wonder how and fast this boat is. I hope he says it. 450 racing engines, okay, with uh, with a boat that weighs less than 20,000 pounds, 18 something. Um, that boat must fly. Have this main feature, which is a pull-out sun gate. I remember the sun dancers. They uh, their sun dancers when they had them uh they uh like the 41 the 47 they had others that would even go like this the backrests on the back of the sun dancers they were nice you're facing back or you're facing onto the side it's a great idea another main feature on this boat is the transit patio wing that opens up 90 degrees giving more so space that's electric the water wow as we enter the cockpit, on port we have an L-shaped seating area and a very well-appointed wet bar right opposite. There's an electric grill. You can have the option of the secondary grill. There's a sink. Double fridge and freezer. And there's also a waste disposal. What's in there? Ah, ooh, double trash. Wow, double trash. That's a cool idea for those of you who like to recycle. <laughs> I don't think it's for the recycling, but it's a great idea for double trash. And I like the way that seat spun. At the helm, we have captain and companion seat, carbon fiber inserts, two sim touch touchscreens, steering, manual switches, controls, and this boat also comes with joystick drive. Yeah. Now this boat comes complete with the Phantom e-power system. 
Let's see what else new he says. Maybe he'll say something different. You find a CP for Series 3. And it also is the E Phantom battery pack, which you can run the power on the boat for about 8 hours. 8 hours? The other guy said 6! Now, the R Series for the C Ray includes the three 450 racing Mercury engines, a painted hull, the red lighting and red stripes. Painted? Custom interior. It's not Jelko? Carbon fiber accents. Dynamic running. I knew they started doing the painting hulls uh, years ago on their big sea rays. I didn't know they were doing it on their smaller boats. Painted? Okay. And custom That's going to last a while. No more cloudy, cloudy look on the side of the. Have you ever driven by an older boat and seen the gel coat and it looks like a cloud? Has somebody like threw a cloud on the side of the hull because, and it's so hazy because the sun has been hitting on it forever? Painted hulls, you don't get that. It's only like the gel coat ones. Anyways, good job. The boat also comes with a fold out back sunroof. Access to the cabin is through a sliding door. There's accommodation overnight for four. On port, there's an additional fridge and microwave with air conditioning controls as well. I like the wood. I like their we fabrics. The middle, I like their head with a shower. Solid surface. Cabin berth under the steps that looks comfortable and spacious for a boat that's only 44. That's the layout awesome. in the cabin is modern and clean. Moving forward on this brand new sea we're in, it's quite easy. Pull back windshield and pull back door. I wish there was, I wish there was a better way to do that type of windshield that goes this, to the side, cause you know it's. But honestly, there is no other way, and it's probably the best thing out now. I just, I can't wait to for somebody to invent some solution just. It's just this window that just flaps back and forth. I want to see somebody think of something there, but I don't know. I, I, I can't think of it, but maybe eventually. Let's see. On the bow, the setup here is typically expected of a bow rider. There are three seats with armrest forward facing. Bell seating with a table that can be lowered to form a giant. I want to know if C Ray con subcontracts the flooring or do they do that themselves? I think I want to say they do that themselves. Um, and they might get the material and that's their pattern and everything, but I don't know. Some pattern. We have a windless anchor locker. I like how you can get. A very easy access the spotlights okay the there I mean system. that's nice that's nice the, the wash down system the spotlights okay there it's just, just you know just be careful this boat. It has an overall length of 41 feet 11 inches it has 41 feet 12 one beam fuel wise it carries 375 gallons 50 gallons of water 50 gallons Ooh. It has a weight of 18,500 18, pounds. Okay. And it has a dead rise of 21 degrees. It can reach a top speed between 62 and 65 miles per hour. It'll cruise in the low 30. At that speed, it'll give you a range of about 3 Why will it cruise miles. in the low 30s? Are you sure? I don't think so. I think you'll cruise higher. I think you'll cruise higher. I could be wrong. I think you'll cruise higher. Now we just finished our walkthrough on this brand new SLX R. Oh, we're at almost 20 minutes. It's the kind of boat that a family man will buy. Great for the kids, great even for couples. It's an excellent day boat, but if you are overnighting, reminder, it can accommodate up to four people. So if you're out on the market looking for that kind of special boat they knew. to enjoy with your family. They knew you can have two couples. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Um, all right. Let's not let it go over 20 minutes. We're almost there. If you want to know more info, go to CRay.com. Um, 
I know the C-Rays very well, so you can always connect with me and uh, I'll let you know what's up. But Marine Max is pretty much the biggest dealer. You can call them too. Anyways, thank you. My name is Steve Maniv with Steve Maniv Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, or share my knowledge on anything boating. You can always connect with me through phone, email, or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. You've earned it. That was good. I like Siri. That's their biggest boat now. <laughs>